I've got a spot I'm going to show you with T.D. Jakes doing the rent money dance. When you see a lot of this uh, buck dancing going on in the church, uh, I, I call it the rent money dance. When you see these preachers, when they uh, kind of lift their arms up and these church men hold their arms up like this and then both feet start uh, moving back and forth like a chicken in the barnyard scratching for a worm in the ground. You've seen the men do that. I call that the rent money dance. When they, cause when a man does that and his, his, his rear end pops out and he starts moving his feet, every woman in the church will give up all her rent money in that offering because it turns on, it's a sexual arousal, really. It goes all the way back to Africa when the witch doctors used to do it. But also, more recently on the plantation, men that were not strong men but were virile men, the master would have Brother John come and buck dance for him. Sometimes he'd just watch John buck dance for himself, and that would arouse the master. Oh yeah, I'm telling, I'm telling the truth in here. Sometimes the master would have John dance for him and his wife. They'd both sit there on the porch and watch John buck dance. And it would arouse both him and his wife, and they didn't go turn into the bed. Uh, but a man who was a stomp down man, if the master came and said buck dance, buck dance for him, a man would say, you got to shoot me. I'm not buck dancing for you and that whatever you call her over there. You shoot me first, but I'm not buck dancing. That's a man. But a little girl would start dancing. <laughs> a little girl would dance in the I'll take your seats. Oh yeah, I'm telling the truth. Now many people, and I want to use this term again, I call it a little girl, the Holy Ghost says, it's, uh, Lord told me it's the spirit of women inside of men. But many people whose language is not as polite as my language say that men have B-I-T-C-H in them and they're possessed by. And then many of these men in the churches who have this B-I-T-C-H in them lie and blaspheme and say they act the way they act because the Holy Spirit makes them act like that. You will notice that those behaviors that we are talking about, you've seen so, ever since you were a child, you've seen men in the church with these behaviors. If you ask them why they act like that, they'll tell you, I got the Holy Ghost, I caught the Holy Ghost. And they say, I'm acting like a woman because I caught the Holy Ghost. They lie. I mean, they blaspheme. There's nothing in the Bible, nowhere in all of God's word, where the Holy Ghost acts like a woman. Nowhere. Nowhere in the word of God. Nowhere. Nowhere. When John was baptizing Jesus down at the Jordan, the Bible says that the Holy Ghost descended upon him like a dove. Jesus received the Holy Ghost at the baptism of John at the Jordan. And then Jesus got up out of the water, but he didn't buck dance. He got up. What about preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God? Saying repent for the kingdom of God is hand. But there was no book dancing or falling out. Holy Ghost. That's what Jesus had. These lying, blaspheming men, these men with B-I-T-C-H in them, lie God and lie on the Holy Ghost. And everybody think, oh Lord, the Holy Ghost is in the church. Now look at the preacher dancing. Look, look, look at everybody dancing. But that's not the Holy Ghost. That's B-I-T-C-H. 